Hey guys, little Omega brush today. 80266, I think it's a very flexible, soft brush. A lot of comfort, very unlike my other Omega brushes. I've had him soaking for several minutes, so he's definitely hydrated enough. We will be using the Tatara. This is the Nadachi handle and the Nadachi top cap and base plate. I can't wait to try. I should have brought it with me. The uh, Masamune base plate. But we'll see. Uh, I wonder if I'll find the Nadachi base plate a little too aggressive with a younger blade. Because today I have the Treat Platinum. And it's got about, I think, nine uses or something like that on it. Yeah, this will be the ninth use. Got some dots on the inner envelope. Treat is not a blade that you see a lot in different forums and things like that. I put two dots on this one just to identify it because I do eventually plan on using, using this blade and uh, a long time see how far it'll go so here's that nadachi top cap uh, base plate i've already done a razor tour i believe for this one There we go, perfect blade alignment every time. And this does have a little bit of exposure. We'll just see how that goes. I will, of course, use appropriate caution. And the soap today is Strange Love by Dr. Johns. And it says, how all, the, the uh, subtitle, How I Stopped Worrying and Learned to Love the Shave. I've used it at least once, and I really like it. It's got the aldehydes going on like a... Um, there, he's going for paranoia, scorched earth, and the aldehydes as a um, homage to that movie. Dr. Strangelove. I think I get most, uh, oh, and grass. There's some grass in there too. I think I get a little bit of the grass, but mostly it's those aldehydes. I think it's really interesting. All right. So I'm gonna get my face wet. It's kind of good that I am working with the more aggressive head of the Tatara because I I'm looking at maybe a day and a half of growth this time, a little more than usual. Go with a 30 second load because this brush is kind of smallish and it's very soft. While I immediately enjoyed its softness compared to the other and comfort compared to the other Omegas that I have, it's almost too, got too much flop. We'll do a 30 second load. I started at 15 till the minute, and so I'll stop at 15 after. Just moderate pressure. And there we go. take this stuff that was around the tin kind of rub it in as a little bit of a pre-shave all right
This is Dr. John's version 3. Really nice bass. I like his other ones too. Not quite as big of a difference, I think, in the jump from 2 to 3 as the previous jump. So if you have volume 2, version 2 soaps laying around there, they're going to do really well also. It's a vegan maker. I have worked up the soap. About as much as it looks like it'll go without adding more water, so I'll add a teaspoon. Dr. John's is a thirsty soap. So don't hesitate to try adding a bunch of water to it. Looking good. Because of the way it looks, I'm going to add in half teaspoon quantities because it just has a wonderful sheen to it. I don't have a lot in the bowl compared to amounts of lather that I normally have. It looks like it'll still be plenty to do three passes. Test it out a little bit. It's got a little bit of elasticity there. Looks like it could probably use just a little bit more water. Let's go with that. Might still be a little too dry, but let's roll on. Now a little quick rinse. And let me also take a moment to clean off the tin. I didn't do that yet. Don't want that soap to build up, especially on these metal tins. And that water build up on the metal or the soap buildup on the metal tins is mainly because a little bit of buildup on these can cause the lid just to be difficult to open and shut. A little less tolerance on these metal tins than the so the plastic ones in my experience. Not really a concern for rust at this point. It takes these coated ones a while to rust. Lather feels pretty good in terms of consistency. All right, now let's 
just lay down a, a thin layer. Plenty of plenty of soap. Maybe my eyes have gotten used to just having such an excess of soap lately that I think that's what I need for normal use. This razor does not have a great deal of support for the blade on the bottom of it close to the edge and so this one does tend to in my past attempts with it be a little bit more vocal than my favorites like my car of Christopher Bradley now so far cutting very well I do feel a little bit of a drag and I, I think that might be something I've experienced before with this razor I wonder if it I wonder if it's the razor just a light touch as always let's uh, do this trouble spot again here Right in the hollow of my neck there, next to my Adam's apple. And you can get the uh, goatee lather and hit it again if you want. That's what gives me trouble. And rinse. That pass of lather felt a little more dense, a little drier than I might normally like. Let's just see what future passes look like. face felt very good after that first pass very well shaven seems like this blade is a good match in this razor at least for my skin Feels good. Looks like I have gotten a pretty good cut from the beginning. Nice close shave. And so these two subsequent passes are mainly just refinements. So this little brush uh, surprised me in terms of comfort, but it's not my favorite one to use because there's just not much body to it, not a lot of density. And it's comfortable, but it just uh, seems to have a little bit too much spring. I think maybe you might have seen a minute ago where the it flicked some lather off. Now that one, it's a very wet lather right now, and so I don't. I'm not talking about that kind, but it just. Uh, the tips are nice and soft, and it's like it's a little too long lofted, just a little bit. It would do in a pinch. It, you know, uh, it's so funny, because it's hard to describe because the comfort is there, and so that makes me think that the, you know, the loft is kind of where it should be. But it might just be the tips. The, the feeling I get when I'm working the lather is that all the, the bristles are 
kind of staying parallel. They're not really expanding so that you kind of get a, a larger feel, larger effect. It doesn't have a lot of bristles, relatively speaking. And so maybe that's part of the issue. Now the third pass, I'll go this direction. I'm going to bet I've gotten an excellent shave here in terms of closeness. All right. Yeah, a little bit of drag on the razor. I'm going to be watching out for that. And rinse. So I did have a little smaller quantity of lather today than I often do. Three teaspoons of water, 30 second load with a small soft bore brush. And I do have, I'm sure I could get two passes out of that. And that's about the perfect amount of margin for me. So a larger, stiffer brush would have given me a lot more soap and I would have had three or four passes of lather extra probably. And we will put on the same balm as yesterday, Sharp Dressed Man from Sterling. The scent on this soap is at a pretty good place. I'd say four out of 10 with uh, Kind of the intensity of the type of scents he chose for this one. I don't think I'd want it to be super strong. Even though that is a common complaint for me. I do feel just a little tenderness somewhere in this area, which is a common area for me. It's probably my own fault with the razor, but that's a tremendously close shave. That's really good. Excellent. I think I've kind of nailed down about this brush, how I feel about it. It's, he's not splaying open as much as most of my other Samogues that are at this point. And though the longer loft gives him some comfort, the tips aren't scratchy. They're a little bit scrubby, but they're not scritchy or, you know, there's no discomfort there or irritation due to the brush. But as I'm using it, it just feels like it's it's narrow, you know, and that and as you're moving the soap around on your face and the Samogues, because of their more openness, give you a, a wider feel and it feels more like a shaving brush should, at least to me. Now, this is young. I'm interested to see what happens as the tips split. So that's why I'm going to keep him in my rotation and we'll just see. Now, uh, some Omegas take years to have the tips get comfy and split. And so I don't know what to expect of this guy. He's obviously had his hair dyed a little bit. So that treatment could make him faster to, to have pro uh, the break-in happen. So we'll just see. Uh, but I think that's the feel here. Uh, I'm... Uh, there was a stage where I felt the comfort and the surprise of an Omega being comfortable. But now that I keep using it, I am a little feeling a little lacking in terms of uh, my liking for it. Uh, just because of that, uh, at least with the Samogues, they may be a little more lax, a little less backbone. And... And so at this stage, they are more appreciated because they're more comfortable and the feel of the lather is, is better. This kind of feels like things go, moving around your face like, like that, like in a more parallel type orientation. Um, so we'll see what happens as the tips split. And yeah, we do have some of the tips that are splitting. Uh, we'll, we'll look forward to getting more and more of that happening. And, um, that's the thing of bore brushes. Uh, this one with its slightly increased backbone could be a favorite 
in 60 uses. It could beat this, some of those Samogues that are so easy to enjoy right now and splay uh, with the ease. Uh, so we'll just watch it and just keep using it and see what happens. I think I'm, I'm pretty much all cleaned up. Really enjoyed that soap. Um, I think the balm kind of worked with it. It didn't really carry over. Uh, some of the neat aldehyde type scent notes, but there's not too many aldehyde balms out there. Uh, I did get a little bit of the grassiness and the, I think the aldehydes were there for kind of a dry feeling of the scorched earth and concrete, you know, and I think it kind of accomplishes that. It's a, it's a neat soap, but it's very different and creative. I, I, I definitely appreciate it. The razor, while moving kind of slowly and having a little drag to it, gave me a great shave. Very comfortable. Only a tiny bit of razor, uh, a tiny bit of irritation right here, and that was only felt when I was applying the balm. So in terms of... Uh, post-shave comfort it's very high looks like a good option and the blade definitely worked well with the razor today all right i think that's that covers it you guys take care this is sugar daddy shaves have a good day